Hey what's up, in this video we're going to continue on building our Reddit app. In this tutorial I'm going to build the comments layout. So I'll go and show you what I mean. We're going to go to uh, subreddit and currently right now uh, our app doesn't look like this. When we click on the posts it doesn't actually do anything. You just click on it and it doesn't do anything. So now what I'm going to do is work on building this layout right here and then in the tutorial following that we're going to actually uh, get the data into this layout. So this one we're just going to build this layout. Alright, so first thing I want to do is we need to import a library. We need the design library for coordinator layouts. So let's sync that. I don't think we're actually going to need it in this tutorial because I'm not going to build the toolbar yet, but I just want to get it in here just so it's done. So we will uh, close the build.gradle and let's go create a new layout file and I'm going to call it activity comments. And in activity comments, I'm going to change this to a coordinator layout because eventually that is what we're going to need. And if we take, we can use this kind of as a template since I've already built it ahead of time. So what we're going to start is we're going to add this section up here for the actual post itself. This isn't going to be a card. It's just going to be a relative layout with an image view, uh, a title, the author name, and then the date, and then a little reply button. So let's just create a relative layout. We'll do match parent, match parent. This is going to encapsulate the entire layout. So then we're going to put another relative layout, and this is what's actually going to hold our our uh, section at the top. So for the width, I'll do match parent, and then I'll do wrap content for the height, and I'll declare our image view object first of all, or sorry, image view widget first of all. And it's going to do 70 dp by 70 dp. I think that should probably be good enough. Do a margin on the bottom of uh, 10 dp, margin left of 20 dp margin top of 10 dp and scale type I want to center crop the image that's always the best way I find in most scenarios and I'm just going to give it an ID of a post thumbnail because this is actually going to be the thumbnail of the post that we select and there it is that looks pretty good there in the corner now below this we're going to add our reply button so I'll create a new widget for the button the width I'll do 50 dp and the height will do 30 dp and the ID will be button post reply and the text alignment oops I didn't do that correctly there we go we'll do text alignment center and in the text we'll just say reply text size we're going to do very small let's do 8 sp align parent right true because we want it on the right side of the screen and we also want it on the bottom so we can do align bottom and we can reference the ID for the post thumbnail. There we go. So that's looking pretty good. Actually, I'm going to change the phone so I can see a little better. There we go. And I'll add a little bit of a margin on the right of just 10 dp. So there we go. And I'm not going to add, if you noticed here, you know there's coloring already on this button. I'm not going to add that in this video. I'm going to wait till the very end and then restyle the whole app so we can do it kind of all in one shot. So it's going to be ugly now, but uh, we'll change that in the future. Okay, now we're going to create another relative layout and it's going to hold this, this post information. So it's going to hold the title, the username, and then the date, kind of all encapsulated in a little relative layout. So I'll create a new relative layout. We'll do match parent for the width and just wrap content for the height. And I'm going to do to the right of the thumbnail and just add a margin on the left of 10 dp. Okay, now we need to add three text views into this relative layout. So text view, wrap content, wrap content, and this one ID is gonna be post, whoops, ID post title with a capital. Do margin top of just three dp, just a little margin there, and the text is gonna be comment don't really need that but we'll put it there anyway and then I want to do um, gravity center that should be good for that now let's co or copy that and we're going to do it uh, two more times this one's going to be post author this one's going to be post updated the only difference with these is we're going to do them uh, below the one that was above it so in that case this one's going to be below post title and in this one we'll do below post author. Oh, and of course, change the text. So author and last updated. All right, so pretty ugly, but 
it'll work for now. I'm gonna make it look much prettier in the future, don't worry. This is just to kind of get us started. Oh, and let's actually set the text size to, to 10, oops, 10 SP. Actually not that one, I want that one a little bigger. These ones will do 10 SP and I'll leave that one as the default. And actually just to make it look a little better, we'll make the top one bold and make the other ones not bold. There we go. Okay, so there's our little, our, our post layout. So now we're gonna need to do this part right here. So we need to add this list view. So we can scroll down and let me see, that's the relative layout. So now, actually just outside of this relative layout, we're just gonna throw a progress bar. So progress bar and we'll do 100 dp by 100 dp. And the ID will be comments loading progress bar. It's a long name, but at least I'll know what it is. I'll do center in parent true and we need to add a style so we can go style question mark android um what is it attribute progress progress bar style that one actually that's too big for that one let's just make this uh 50 dp we'll make the one uh for the list view a little bigger all right so now below this relative layout uh, this is where we're going to add our other another pro oops, another progress bar. So I can actually just copy this and I'm going to put it right here. And this one will be 100 dp. And this one will be actually I'll leave this as comments loading progress bar and we'll change this to post. That's actually the post. And there we go. We have that right in the center. And I'll actually show you like kind of like a hacky thing. I don't know if you noticed when my progress dialog here. I'll go back click on them when it's loading you can see this text loading comments you can't do that in all situations but in this case you can do it so what we can do is create a text view go wrap content wrap content and we can do let's do some text size 10 sp and we'll do text style bold text let's do loading comments now we do uh, align left, align right, align top, and align bottom. And it will actually set that text into the middle of the progress dialog box. So I can do align uh, right of comments progress bar, and align, or sorry, align left, and then align right of comments progress bar, align top of comments progress bar. And see, there you go. So now it's actually in or it's kind of on the top of the box. I thought this was pretty cool. I didn't know you could do this. It's kind of a hacky way to do it. Like in most situations it doesn't work, but it will work in some, and this happens to be one of the ones that it works. So it looks, it looks pretty cool, I think. And it's not a lot of work. You just gotta add these four lines of code. So pretty cool. Now let's actually add our list view on the bottom here. So match parent and match parent, of course. Do below comment. Oh, I need to set this below the relative layout. So it needs to be below this relative layout. Let's go up here and let's give this an ID. Call it comment heading relative layout, copy that and let's paste that down there. So now our list view is gonna be below our uh, comment or post, I guess, our post heading, I'll call it. And let's give this an ID, go comments list view. And that should be pretty much all we need to do here. Obviously, we don't have our toolbar like in here, and we don't have the color button, and we don't have the background on this post. Oh, we also don't have the menu, but um, whoops. But uh, this is generally what the layout is going to look like. So I'm going to stop the video here because I know this is probably already getting quite long. So I'll stop the video, and in the next video, we will actually send data to this layout and take a look at the comments for that particular post. Don't forget to like the video. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.